Before anyone asks why I'm not showing the head after each hit, this is why. There is really not much left. We did some tests without helmet and it was pretty devastating as you can see. There is really not much left of it. This is really just about enough to hold the helmet in place. And since this is the thickest and, and strongest of the helmets, I don't expect any damage anyway, since even the other helmets prevented actual fracture due to the padding and the suspension and just the thickness of the metal. So this wouldn't really happen anyway. In case you're wondering, no, this is not supposed to move like that. I would expect a pole axe to be a lot sturdier, especially since this was literally the very first strike I took with this pole axe. So, not exactly acceptable. I don't think there's. I, I don't trust this thing anymore, so I don't think there's much point in it. It also cut a little bit into the steel, actually. I think the wearer inside would be still pretty safe, though, aside from the blunt impact force. Here is the inside view. I don't know how well you can see the dent. It's right there. It wouldn't touch the head, the, the padding is still providing enough space. This is where the flange is hit. Huh. 
So here's another pointless and ineffective law. Um, flailed slash morning stars are illegal in Canada, but they are defined as having a ball with spikes. So a, a round ball like this is perfectly fine. And um, this, by the way, I found this on Amazon as a BDSM toy. Uh huh. Ball and chain. It's kind of tiny and weird. Based on these tests, I've got to say I'm not a fan of the flail. I prefer the mace or the warhammer by far. It's a lot more controllable, it doesn't threaten the user. I could have used it in a different way, but I chose to use it in the way that I feel minimized the risk to myself. Especially with a longer chain, it's awkward and unwieldy and oddly enough it did less damage. In the video it doesn't really come across just how loud this is. It was in fact loud enough to hurt my ear. So I can only imagine how deafening this must be for the wearer. Really well. Yeah, the visor holds up perfect right there. We, we do sort of wonder how much the broken nose is now. Oh. Yeah. Not entirely sure which of those dents it is at this point. I think it may be this. I'm not, not positive. 
I think it's I think it's there. So. Yeah, that's also what I what I guessed. Looks like it. All right, it's starting to rain. Let's back up.